Well, she is ranked the 15th fittest woman in the world in her age group, and now this 52-year-old is headed to California to see if she can become the fittest woman in the world. News Channel 8's AA Anthony Allred had a hard time catching up with her in Clearwater. I've been an athlete all my life. I played softball, volleyball, ran track in you know high school. I played you know D1 volleyball at the University of Maryland, and I right now at age 52, I'm probably in the best shape of my life. When it comes to power, strength, and agility, you could say Sue Vallott is one of the fittest women in Tampa Bay. You know the joke is whoever can embrace the suck is is, is going to do the best, and that's you know I I'm pretty good at being able to say, you know, this hurts and just keep going. And now, Sue is on her way to the CrossFit Games in California to see if she's the fittest woman in the world. Right now is my panic time. Um, I do the, all the workouts were announced last night, so I'm trying to go through them and keep them straight and figure out our strategy, how I'm going to approach everything. To qualify for the CrossFit Games, it's a 35-pound bar. Video, which you had five minutes, yes. five muscle ups, and ten power cleans. And now, She's ranked the 15th fittest woman in the world. Sue actually beat out about 3,000 or more other athletes in her age group alone, and that's in the worldwide group. Uh, she made the top 20, so she will be going to the CrossFit Games to represent the Bay Area uh, and really the U.S. in this international competition. Two years ago, Sue finished eighth in the CrossFit Games. Last year, she had back surgery and didn't qualify, and now she's going all out just to be declared the fittest woman in the world. That's really the end goal, is being crowned the fittest 50 to 54 year old in the world. I mean, if I could break the top 10 uh, a year after back surgery, that would be, you know, I, I think a huge accomplishment for me this year. In Tampa, Anthony Allred, News Channel 8. It's hard.